Okay, so now we're trying to figure out where did the scholars go wrong? Wait a minute, I got a cough again. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm taking a cough drop now, so my voice is going to sound funny. Okay. Why am I showing this to you? Because this is a book in Google Books that you can search and you can even download it. I've talked about it before. See, right here. And I'm searching on the English spelling of meter with an R-E ending. To find out how many books, see, because that's the theme of this book. List of editions of Bible and parts thereof in English from 1505 to 1820, because this book is written in 1852. Okay. How, how common was it to do this? And I'm using variant spellings because there are three different spellings of meter in this book. M-E-E-T-E-R, which is a Dutch spelling, M-E-T-E-R, which is American English spelling, and M-E-T-R-E, -E, which is England English spelling, okay? So, I just searched on the word meter. So here we go, book of Psalms in meter, close and proper to the Hebrew By somebody, Matthew Simmons and the company of stationers. The company of stationers was um, the name of the place that had the original apparatus for the King James. And in the 1660 uh, fire in London, the apparatus was destroyed. So the original first 1611, as it were, you know, master copy is no longer available. Okay? Now I could search on that page, but you can do it too. Because I just want to show you that there are 80 results here, so I'm not going to go through all of them. Okay, here's another one by Bishop Horn. And that'll be 1823. This one, I guess I should show what year it is. Wait a minute. Okay, see how early this is? That's 1644, so this is 1643. Now that matters, because in Matthew 24, it's predicted. Put 1640, 1642. So let's see if this is 1642, 1643. Okay, so maybe it was physically published in 1643, but they were working on it in 1642. See here, 1642. And I haven't searched in all the spellings of meter yet, either. Okay. And there's 1641. And here's the one I showed you at the beginning. 1640. There we go. This one. Here's one by Bryson, and that's, that's in Edinburgh. Okay, this is the one I was I did the video on in New England. See, they don't call it the Bay Book of Psalms here. Okay, they just call it the Book of Psalms. And they just say New England by Stephen Day, D-A-Y-E. Sometimes his name is spelled without the ending E. And that's at the Bodleian Library. Okay, that their copy of it. But there's actually well, 11 different copies, and one of them... They just, a guy named David just bought it in 2013 for $14 million. And um, it's the Library of Congress. It's out on loan to the Library of Congress. That was where I first started doing the videos. I was using this book to find them. Okay? Because the meter in Matthew 24 is focusing on 1640. To 1642. You know, that's the whole Curios reference, remember? So now we're going through 1640, and instead of 1642, okay, 
Maybe the word tunes means meter also. Maybe some of these are also meter, but they don't use the word meter, so I can't find them. But that's 1641, because Hokurias is three syllables, not four. Okay? Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is four, in which case 1643 is in view. There you go. So here's another one. RC for the company. And that was done from St. Paul's in London. Okay, here's another one, Psalms of David, four languages, four parts, that might be metered, I don't know, it doesn't say. Here's another one, in meter, by Francis Runs. Are you getting the impression, are you beginning to understand that this was popular? Look at all these translations coming out in meter within the same three years, okay? Sorry about the sound of my mouse, it's a very noisy mouse. Okay, there you go. So you see why it's metered in, in Matthew? I mean, yeah, in Matthew 20, 24, verse 50. Where you see Hokurias. And here you go, again. So for all of those years, or at least... 1640 and 1643 <clears throat> you have multiple different persons publishing the Psalms in meter see this is Francis Rue this guy up here is Sternholtz London so it's a different publisher and it's a different writer so people wanted this it was popular in 1640 through 42 43 Okay, here it is again, 1644. See? Now, are they counting the Hebrew syllables to get their meter? Well, I don't know. I'd have to find those books. I don't have them. But you see, the idea is popular. And if the one in 1640 counted the syllables in Hebrew in America, where do you think they got that idea from? Okay, because America was just getting started. So they got it from these other guys, and it was popular in England. All right? What else can you call it? So let's go back. That's 1640, 42, 43, 44. All right? This one is 1824, so this is 1823. Okay, I guess we should look at it. There's 1823. Oh, my goodness. 1824 and 1823 it kept on being popular even 200 years later okay look at this songs of solomon that's the way they spelled it then psalms psalms they kept on being popular here's a literal translation Based solely on the authority of Reverend Joseph Parkhurst, but I don't know if that's me or he's not saying it is. You get the point? Every single year they're coming up with this stuff, and I can't read the handwriting there. Because this is a facsimile copy of a book. Maybe you can read that. You can use the, this thing here up at the top, the four arrows. Or you can use the, the magnifier glasses to read it. I don't have time to do that right now. See, look again, 1828, and in meter. 1829, new metrical version. Okay, and I haven't even searched all this. Metrical is another word you can search on in here. This is just searching on the word meter spelled with English spelling. And I got 80 results to go through. Okay? Look at this. There's 1691. In other words, once it started in 1640, it kept on going, baby. Okay, now is it only Psalms? Well, as we've seen in the other videos, it was also Job and even Revelation by 1892. What I'd like to find out is, is how many other books besides Psalms did they translate in meter? Okay, was it just Job and Psalms or anybody else? 
and I'm going to turn this off now but I just want you you can you can the link will be in the video description you'll be able to search on it yourself with the variant spellings of meter with two e's meter with an r e n d meter with an uh, in normal american spelling m e t e r metrical sometimes they say inverse in as what preposition and then verse translation inverse okay look them up yourself pick the ones you want and then ask yourself a question what happened to the scholars that they forget about this and in the next video I'll show you what happened to the scholar who actually pioneered the idea of looking at the whole Bible in terms of meter how he got it wrong peace out okay how do I turn this thing off now